Number 3, if x is an angle in between of 0 and 90 degrees, and sine of x is equal to 1 half, then what's the value of cosine of x? I wanted to show you guys a more conceptual approach to do this question. We don't need to rely on any identities. This way it's better in the sense that you will work with any combination of trig functions. You can have tangent x is equal to 1 half, and then trying to solve for secant x, and things like that. Anyways, let's take a look. First, we'll have to look at this information. x is in between of 0 and 90. That will tell us we're just focusing on the first quadrant. Because when you draw the x and y axis, this is the 0 degree, and this right here is the 90 degrees, right? And then, our strategy is, we are going to come up with the right triangle in the first quadrant. And then, that way, we can do the sine, cosine, tangent, this kind of business. But how can we do that, though? Well, we have to utilize this equation. Let me put it down. Sine of x is equal to 1 half. We have to, of course, remember what is sine. Well, sine of an angle means we have opposite over hypotenuse, right? So in our case here, we can label the 1 to be the opposite side of the right triangle, and then the 2 to be the hypotenuse side, right? So I'm going to just draw the triangle based on this information. The opposite side is 1, so I'm just going to go to the first quadrant here. I'm going to make a side here, and this is going to be 1, and that will be the opposite side. For the hypotenuse, this is going to be from the origin to here, and this is 2. And this is going to be a right triangle, but then we have to finish this right triangle. But then we have to finish this right triangle. We have to figure out what the third side is right here. How can we do that? This is a right triangle, right? So of course, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. Let me just label this right here to be B. I will label this to be A. The hypotenuse is going to be labeled as C all the time. The A and B right here doesn't really matter. I'm going to figure out what B is, though. So we know that Pythagorean theorem told us that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. A is 1, so I can just plug in 1 squared plus B I don't know yet, so I put down b square, this is equal to c is 2, so we have 2 square. We have to solve for b right here. This is just going to be 1 plus b square equals to 2 square, which is 4. Subtract 1 on both sides, we know b square is equal to 3. And then to solve for b, I'm just going to take the square root on both sides. But then I'm just going to take the positive square root on both sides. Because we are talking about right here, this has the positive value, positive x-axis value, right? So we just want to take the positive square root on both sides. Anyways, square square root cancels, and we will have b equals to positive square root of 3. So I can put it down right here now. So we have this right triangle to be looking at, right? At the end, let's look at what's cosine of x. Well, we have to remember What's the definition of cosine? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And we're talking about cosine of x. x is the angle. And just like this right here, sine of x. The angle is right here. That's the angle x here. So based on this picture, cosine x is going to be the adjacent side, which is the square root of 3. This is the adjacent side right here adjacent side, which is the square root of 3, over the hypotenuse, which is the 2. Okay, And as you can see, cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And we have to remember these kind of things really, really well. At the end, you see that we got our answer. Cosine x is equal to square root of 3 over 2. And that is choice B. As usual, that's it.